the snowflake effect. In a recent video, I brought up a line I was taught as a child. Sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Some have corrected me, saying that names should be words, but I was taught it as I stated. Either way, the point is that, no matter what another says, one's body remains intact. I learned that I could control how I felt about what was said by choosing how to think about what was said. I could take it personally, thinking in terms that created anguished feelings, or laugh it off, thinking, whatever. Indeed, names or words cannot hurt me, but I can choose to hurt myself or not. So I was aghast when I typed in a search looking for an image to use for sticks and stones to see graphics that changed the lesson. Quote, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can do permanent damage. Unquote. Really? Or do we choose to damage ourselves? Quote, Sticks and stones can break my bones, but names will scar me forever. Unquote. We scar ourselves by how we choose to think. Quote, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will infect my mind. Unquote. Again, that is a choice made by the listener. Quote, Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can hurt like hell, unquote. Yes, if you choose to let them, but the choice is yours. The list goes on and on of claims that, in typical snowflake fashion, try to suggest that others are responsible for how we choose to feel. It's becoming clear that deliberate efforts are being made to snowflakeify society to justify the gutting of free speech. To make us think we are responsible for how others choose to feel about what we have said and thereby create the fictitious hate speech. A good and proper wisdom is being distorted to bring in laws that will eventually remove our foundational right to speak as we choose. I did find some graphics that had the appropriate lesson, but the top returns were all snowflaked, <laughs> begging for a parent, I guess, for protection. There was one derivation I liked. I thought it summed up the problem well. Quote, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will cripple my unstable and heavily dependent level of self-worth. Unquote. Indeed, it is easier to think about what was said in ways that do not hurt if one has a high sense of self-worth. But it always is a choice. Free speech means free speech, irrespective of who chooses to be offended or hurt. Let's make sure they do not hold us responsible for what others are choosing. For a solution to the psychopaths in control who are bringing us the snow flakiness, see my playlists. Amaterasu Solar Shill for Humanity Love Always Humanity Will Win